well. Um, I've been reading. I've been, there's a lot to read. I want to assure you that this blog is not just going to be about politics. Like, I'm not going to just continually talk about like the Conservative Party and Jeremy Corbyn. There is an election on, and so therefore there's just lots of stuff coming out. Um, interesting stuff about the manifestos and the costing is the thing that's really piqued my attention. And uh, yeah, some weird shenanigans. Also, the investigation into Cambridge Analytica is going on. Some weird shenanigans coming out of that. But first, um, I've got some work to do, and I'll talk about that later, I suppose. check the car park at the Royal Institute of International Affairs just to see what's going on. There's nothing going on. That is what I can deduce by the evidence. But it's like, uh, I bet you didn't know that the American government owe the Council of London like millions and millions of pounds in unpaid parking fines, most of which again, by them just parking their cars there for hours when this is quite clearly, um, well, four hours, no return within one hour. <laughs> But they don't pay, apparently. They don't have to pay. They are above the law. Going into St James's Square. Well, I think if we are meeting him, I want to make to, sure. Uh, show you something, which is quite interesting. Well, the first interesting thing is the guy you can see in the background there, um, the sort of bald guy with the beard walking, toward, uh, walking away from us now. He's actually the security guard for St James's Square. Uh, he's dressed like a businessman. It's sort of like a wolf in sheep's clothing sort of thing. But yeah, they put up lots more art in this square. And uh, one of them, a couple of them, quite significant, in that I've worked out that the theme that they are running here in this town in terms of like occult art psychogeography is to do with the dance of death. And this is actually quite relevant now because you might see that they have the miniature version of the horse's head at Marble Arch um, and then now they have this like weird dancing statue which is you'll see uh, what's it called dancing couple a couple dancing well welded together very solidly welded together dancing whether they like it or not and there it is look the dance of death dancing whether they like it or not. Well, I see that like symbolic of the um, social contract. The fact that the government or the state and the people are do have been doing this exotic, mysterious dance for centuries. And uh, the reason that it will never, will never stop dancing with the state, presumably, is because they've welded us together. In what's called an unwritten, unknowable social contract. Because when I was reading about the manifestos, the Labour manifesto and the Conservative manifesto, and you read all the news articles where they're either saying, oh, there's a big money black hole here, or Labour can't afford what they're saying, or Conservatives can't afford what they're saying. Really interesting to look through to, and think about, what is it that we get anyway, and it doesn't matter whether we vote Conservative or Labour, what do you always get? And you know, there are certain things that we're always going to get, like Labour going to continue the surveillance state. So it's essentially it's part of their manifesto, it's not really talked about, but they are going to be continuing the surveillance state. And the Conservatives also going to be continuing with the uh, surveillance state. So whichever way you vote, either way, you are voting yay for the surveillance state. A lot of the shortfall in terms of people saying, oh, the Conservatives can't afford it or the Labour can't afford it. They're both doing a thing saying, oh, we're starting a system to eradicate tax evasion. So the Conservatives are going to try and eradicate tax evasion. And they say it's going to raise them so many billions of pounds. Labour say they're going to eradicate tax evasion. It's going to raise them certain billions of pounds. And of course, neither of them are really going to be able to evade, uh, to stop tax evasion. Um, 
because how this town has always worked and all the British Isles, you know, Jersey and all this kind of stuff. Even talking about turning the city of London into a place for a form of tax evasion. But the Conservatives say they're going to stamp it out and raise lots of money because of that. So, you know, Socrates, Plato, they, they, it is very well worn the idea that it is taxation is immoral. So vote Labour, vote Conservative. You're basically taxing for grand and pervasive immoral behaviour which you are welded to in this dance of death. I don't really know what we're going to find when we get around this corner. Either nothing at all, like, I think people were just like waiting around for hours today in the rain. So I can only imagine that if he came out, they'd probably all be pissed off. <laughs> I imagine. Let's see. And is there a riot or some kind of thing going on around here? Oh. There's something actually, mainstream media here. That's the embassy over there, just in case you don't realise it, or recognise it. And look, all the mainstream media, I'm like going to get in the back of their shots, it's going to really piss them off. And there were their reflective discs. Why don't I get a guy whose job it is to reflect sunlight back up in my face? I think I've missed all the action. So miserable. I'm going to hang around just in case anything happens, but I've got a feeling. Yeah, confirmed. I missed it. There's nothing to see here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn.